Hi, this is Kai Wehner with Confluent. I want to talk with you about predictive maintenance, a very exciting topic within manufacturing and IoT scenarios. We will see three different implementations of how data streaming can help here. In the middle, we see the data streaming part. This is the Kafka log under the hood. And on the right side, we see the sensors. The sensors continuously stream data in. The Kafka log on the other side now consumes the data so that you can process it continuously in real time. Why would you do that? Here's the business case. In manufacturing, you always need to improve the overall equipment effectiveness. So that's what we will do here. And how we will do that? With data streaming, we can reduce the cost because we continuously act on events that are happening. And with that, we can also reduce the risk on the shop floor level so that you don't have downtime and your systems can run 24 seven. Let's take a look at three different examples for predictive maintenance with the Kafka ecosystem leveraging Confluent. The first example is what we will do with Java and Kafka Streams. With Kafka Streams, we can build very powerful streaming applications. But in this example, we build a relatively simple condition monitoring application. For that, it is stateless and we take a look at a single event. We continuously consume events and process them in real time to filter them. So the business logic in this case would be a temperature spike. Our business rule is that whenever the temperature of a sensor is over 100, then we send an alert to the mechanic. A very simple use case, but already very powerful because it works in real time and at any scale. However, we can build much more powerful scenarios with stream processing. In the second example, I want to use KSQL for that. The benefit here is that we have a high abstraction level. You can write just SQL code instead of low-level Java code. The business case is that we now build stateful applications that continuously aggregate information from different events. So in this scenario, we take a look at the last hour, but this is really continuously flowing, a sliding window that monitors the last 60 minutes. And based on that, we have relatively simple but very powerful business logic. Here you see the query. Continuously monitor the last 60 minutes. And if there is more than five temperature spikes within this last hour, then we send an alert to the mechanic. This is already very powerful. However, let's go even one step further. Now we want to embed AI and machine learning into our streaming application. In this case, we are using TensorFlow or any other machine learning framework. And we leverage that and embed it into our data streaming application. In this example, we are once again using KSQL. But now again, we embed the TensorFlow model within this streaming application. So within milliseconds, we can do model scoring, which means that we do predictive maintenance while the data is hot in real time, close to the shop floor, so that we can really detect issues and send the alert to the mechanic. In this case, it's not business logic, but it's the data or model trained in a data lake by a data science team. And then you hand it over into the streaming application so that you can do it in low latency 24 seven at any scale. So you have seen three different examples for predictive maintenance with low level Kafka streams in Java, with a higher abstraction level using KSQL, or then even the advanced use case with machine learning embedded into data streaming. All of these use cases are very powerful. So I hope you learned a lot so that you can use it in your own projects. We have a lot of content. So just check out the content below, including the links to our case studies. I'm Kai Wehner with Confluent. Thanks for watching.